Hi. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I haven't seen you in a while. It's Saturday. This video will be going up on Monday. Um, and today we're just cleaning up my closet. I am in a room that I don't really bring you guys into a lot. That's my bedroom. That's because it's just... You know, I think the real truth is that I just sleep in here, which... I feel like out of all the rooms in the house, this is the one that needs the most love because it is the most plain and it's plain. <laughs> but today I am going to purge. I am clearing out my closet. It's like a, it's like an end of year clean. That's what I'm trying to do to to just get rid of all the stuff that's that I don't need to get into 2020 with. Also, I've just had my brows done. I have to say, Yvonne is the real plug. I go to Aromatic Spa. I'm gonna leave their contacts. I'm gonna put them on the contacts on the screen, but I'll also leave it in the description box. Um, and if you do wanna check her out, she's amazing. Ask for Yvonne when you do call. I love her. She's also the woman I go for for my wax. All right, enough talking. Let me put you here. This is my closet. Let me open it up. Okay. This is what I'm working with. It's just, it's too much. I don't need some of these clothes, but I wanna make room for a lot more clothes in 2020. I wanna have fun with fashion. Where do I start? Where do I start? Do I do the Marie Kondo method? Have you guys, I'm sure you guys have heard of Marie Kondo. She is like this woman who completely revolutionized how we, I think, live our lives really. I'm panicking a little. I don't I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna need to use the bed. Let me stop talking. I'm gonna start by putting everything on the bed. A, I don't understand that joke at all. And that's literally what the computer spread out? That is what the computer spread out. Got it! You don't, I don't think it's anywhere. I got the mosquito! It's right there. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit. I know people with more clothes. <laughs> I sound like someone who's guilty. I'm not guilty. I know people who are doing worse than I am. <laughs> what am I doing? I think what I'm gonna do now is get a couple of bags for things that I will give away. No. Like, not staying and staying. I think she divides, I don't know if how Marie Kondo does it. I think there's usually three categories, but I'm just gonna keep it as like, things I'm donating, stroke. You know, my sister can go through and see if she wants anything or um or and you know end up like giving away to charity and then the rest i'm keeping oh god it's a lot okay so i've got my bags ready to go in the back um excuse me but first i wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that are now available on zetu it has been I don't, I can't, I can't even be the one talking because there's people who've like been working 12, 16 hour days, like crazy hours to try and make sure that this site is up and running, but it is. It's not like the ultimate perfect version of what Shop Zetu is going to be, but it's a work in progress. And every day there's like things that are taking place behind the scenes to try and make sure that the site is better and better. But that being said, let me try on the pieces for you guys. <laughs> okay. First thing I tried on, which now I feel like should have been the last thing because it's just so comfortable. <laughs> Biker shorts and this like crop top, which I mean, this look kind of makes me feel like I should be in the gym, but at the same time, it's exactly what I would chill in the house with. I don't have any biker shorts. Um, and I have to say, so not everything I'm trying, I've tried on before. There's, it's not like, there's, in fact, I think, I don't know if there's anything that's in that bag that I've tried on before because design team usually works on things and there's some things I've already tried and I love so much and there are others that I haven't tried. So these are like my first impressions and real, real, like what I really think. So the pieces that I've got, this is, a, my top is a small and it's 750 shillings and my biker shorts are extra small and they're, they're 950 shillings. Um, I will link everything in the, in the 
description box below so that you can get direct links to everything. I'm not wearing a bra either, so it like holds everything up pretty well. There we go. Oh my god, I love this. I love this, and I can't tell you how many things I've worn before that I wished I had a bandeau top. Um, this is 750 shillings. It's in a size extra small, and sorry, I'm just trying to readjust my little ladies. Yeah, you guys, I haven't been, <laughs> we haven't talked about the gym in a minute. That's because I haven't been to the gym in maybe two months. I do want to start in January. Um, that's a whole other conversation. So I am also just looking at my body like, wow, 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 things are not as tight as I remember them to be. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm really feeling this. And I feel like this is the kind of look, if you were that kind of girl, dang it, I can't find it. I was gonna put a blazer over it. Wait, give me a second. If you were that girl who could like kill it in something like this and and like boots, I just, I don't know if I'm, if I'm that brave, but I would wear this with maybe jeans. This, in case you don't know, is a Mr. Price coat. Okay, next one. Okay. Woo, woo. Mm, mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling a little embarrassed because I like this dress a lot. And yet it's so simple. It's just like a spaghetti strap, black, um, I want to say calf length because it's not all the way down to your, to my ankles. Um, what size is this? This must have been, it's an extra small. It's a, uh, it's gorgeous. I love this. Oh my God. I need to get like even nothing. I mean, it's just that. Is it see-through in there? I don't think so. Is it? No, it's just like a little bit of light. Um, oh, I love this so much. And I love that you can also kind of play with it and just get it to sit where you are most comfortable and have these like wrinkles, the creases, forgive, be a little bit more forgiving around the areas that you want. But I love this so much. I'm gonna get this in every single color. Actually, Patricia wore this to her uh, show. She belted it and had all these other things, but I, Jesus, I love this so much. Woo, I love this. Let me adjust. I think I need to adjust my little ladies so that they're sitting right. Okay, simple, to the point, love it. It's in an extra small. I feel good. Oh, this is, this is a must have. Let's just be honest here. Every woman needs a black dress, a little black dress, as they say. All of these pieces I had not tried before. I legit love this so much. It's a keeper. I love the length. I love that it's right below the knees. You can wear it to work. Uh, you can go on a date with it. I would host my show in it. I, I could, hang out with my girls, go watch a movie, but wear it with sneakers, the works. <laughs> oh my God, Merry Christmas to everybody. For this one, I had to wear a bra because it's white. So if I don't, it's gonna be see-through and I couldn't find the other strap for the one bra side. So hopefully it's just sitting well enough, is it? I don't know. Um, Oh, and the fabric on this, it stretches just right. You know what, I'm not even really conscious of whatever's going on here, it's okay. Um, you definitely have to have the right underwear for this, or no underwear, if you wanna swing that way. Um, but, I mean, it's just, it's a classic white dress. I had one more piece, I tried to put it on. Oh no, I have another one I wanna show you guys. I forgot about that one. It's a, uh, why is it not focused there? It's a black dress with a gorgeous cutout. It's just that, why is it freaking out? There we go. It's a black dress um, with a really cool cutout. It's just that it's too small. I think I need to order this one in a size small and, and not an extra small. Um, so I'm gonna have to take this back and then order a new one. 
Let me try on one more piece for you guys. There we go. The last one. Uh, love, love, love. I'm just trying to get, again, readjust my boobs. I don't have a bra on at this point. Um, oh my God. I love it. I love the length. I love that it's not too short. I can wear it with sneakers. You obviously have to be going in the right spaces in order to wear something this short. Happy that this also has some color in it because I was playing it safe and just sticking to like lots of blacks and whites. Um, just to like build out my basics. That's how I always start, even like with my home. I kind of just start with like the basics and then with time incorporate color, pattern, print, that kind of that kind of thing. Um, right, so I think that ends my little shop Z2 haul. I'll put every um, link in the description box and you can hopefully find yourself some pieces that you like for this season or for New Year's Eve. Um, there's a black dress. I just, I'm beating myself up that I didn't get it in time. Wow, I'm also looking at my hair and the mess that it is. But dang, I really, I really love this. Okay, pardon the hair. I even took out like the thing at the end. But I took a quick lunch break and then I came back into the room and I was like, <gasps> it just looks like so much. I do it just looks like so much. I don't, I, I, I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and figure out where to start. I can't even sit. I just, I'm feeling confused. I don't know where to start. And then also, are we just giving, like letting go of everything that doesn't spark joy? But what if it doesn't spark joy, but it's sensible, you know? So like, this is just a simple black tea. I don't think it sparks joy, but I need a simple black tea. And I'm just like, should I have another one? I don't know. Okay, no, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna give myself a time frame. Let me see how far I can get in 30 minutes. Boom, yeah, go. This is where we are now. That took, I wanna say like maybe, actually may have taken 30 minutes. This is what I'm giving away. That's what I'm keeping. I feel good about that. I mean, this is, this is a good amount of clothes. Like we've got, I'm not just hiding stuff. Or you know, like it's a good amount of clothes that I'm giving away. Not to put them away, but first I think I'm gonna clean that out. Just like wipe it down and then start, start putting stuff up. And it is clean, nicely wiped down. That's my glass of water. Um, in case anyone's wondering, I got my hangers from Amazon and also Target. I realized that because I don't see a lot of my pieces, it means that I don't wear a lot of my pieces. Like some things I was like, oh wow, yes, this looks so beautiful. Why don't I wear it anymore? So I'm trying to just make it more sensible so that I see as many of the items as possible as opposed to folding and they're all behind and I wish I had um, like a, a chest of drawers just something that I can fold things and it's like easier to access rather than using in here but I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to figure figure this out gotten really dark but I am finally done I'm finally done it only took uh, like three hours but I'm done and I feel really good I want to show you guys um, it's gotten really dark though so the lights are on um, and here we are so I'm done and I feel so good my closet feels relatively lean and I love that um, I decided to hang things that I don't usually hang which is like skirts which makes me feel like I wish I had the like proper hangers for them or just proper system for it. Um, so down here I've got my sweaters and I, I'm a lover of like cozy knits. Just It just makes me so happy. And then 
like things t-shirts I can kind of casually wear outside or in the house I've got my tights most of which are vivo no no some are not like some are Carrefour this one is hmm, for you two this one is from South Africa but a lot of these are vivo and then I've got my workout clothes um, which I get from all over the place like this is from LCY Kiki so is this but this is from Target and then like the some more workout clothes like the top parts these are the pants and then I've tried to it doesn't look like it but I've tried to organize in <laughs> color so this part is up until here is skirts and then I've even tried to organize um, like sleeves and you know the lengths of them so like short sleeves to like kind of sleeved to slightly longer to super long and I've tried to keep it within a certain color palette so that's that side and then on this side I've got down here I've got pants and I've got jeans which I feel like I, I wish I had a lot more jeans I love jeans so much it's just crazy that I don't have enough I've only got four pairs which even this one looks like it needs a good wash actually we're gonna put this in the wash okay all right yep so jeans um casual pants like with the some color pattern um back here i've got palazzo pants which i love so much and actually all of these are oh most of these are vivo i think this is lcy kiki but the rest are vivo um which I love so much, especially this one. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm going to in, a, in very soon, and I love it so much. And then back there, shorts. I don't wear them that often. Actually, mostly it's like by the beach that I'll wear a lot of these, except for maybe these jean shorts. Um, <clears throat> and then I decided to put my hoodies up here. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is a Living With Us one, which I love so much. And Home 254, which was so kindly gifted to me. Um, and then I've got like coats and jackets um, and some here are short sleeved and then oh yeah and then maybe like here up until here it's like cover ups and stuff and then I've got some dresses and jumpsuits actually I don't know why this dress is here I think I just didn't know where to put it because it's casual but it's long I just put it with these two jumpsuits um, and then I've got dresses that are a little bit more fun um oh I love, this is the new zetu dress i love so much oh, this dress i love i got this from um platform and then more dresses that are like casual casual dresses oh starting i mean here some of these are like a little bit more dressy and then from here are like really dressy gowns like things i'd wear if there was like um a black tie event and i needed to wear like something really dressy a couple of these dress things i haven't even worn in so long but they're gorgeous um yeah i'm done and then down there just we don't let's just not even consider that part i'm not sure honestly some of these boxes i haven't opened since i shoved them down there when i moved in which probably means i should open and just see what's happening and clear out this place but anyway i'm done i'm gonna move back a little bit let's see how this looks yeah i'm gonna move back a little bit let me see there i even have extra hangers i never have that many extra hangers i'm so excited i'm so happy anyway i'm going to relax now no, I have to edit some stuff and then I'll relax. Ah, I'm so happy. The other day I cleared out my um, papers, pa uh, documents that I had been like filed. Um, like just going through and being like, what do I really need? Do I need some of these receipts? Do I need this paperwork? So I'm slowly going through it. I think the next thing I'll try to tackle is my makeup and just be very cutthroat like if i've not used it in six months it's out which would be like 70 percent of my makeup anyway i'm i'm gonna go now morning it is a new day and i'm committed to keep on clearing things up and right now i want to tackle the beauty 
section where I just have way more lip products than I actually need or I actually use. Oh, I'm just about to use a new, like it's, first of all, oh God, I've missed this scent so much. It's untouched, isn't it? Just like, <sighs> yummy. Um, and then uh, random fact about me, but I remember in high school being so obsessed with lip balms and the idea that you must not dig into it and I'd get so upset if I gave someone and they just like, and I just see a fingerprint, I'd be like, but why would you ruin a beautiful masterpiece? Anyway, <laughs> I still feel the same today. Um, so I'm about to tackle my BT segment, which you, to be honest, it's not that big it's just that the lip products that's what i'm confused about why on earth i have that many lip products because i don't use that much stuff um so let me show you what i'm working with oh, i've got my phone here because i was watching youtube videos um and i've got my list of things that i need to do today but i so these two bags are what carry my makeup products the ones that i use like regularly um and then i've got a, f a couple of makeup palettes this is a sleek one um joanna k and revolution makeup revolution um and oh yeah and one more this one which was a gift actually two of these were gifts um and i i don't know why i've got all those lip products because i don't use them nowhere nearly as as much as as you'd think then what I'll do with the products is I'll just, I'll probably share some with my sister if she's keen. Um, and a lot of them I'll try and give to Wakesha, a makeup artist, and see if she can reuse them. Okay, I kind of started a little bit. I have this pile for things that I'm giving away. Uh, this pile is things that I'm throwing away in here. And this pile is things that I'm keeping. There we go. I'm done this we're throwing away this is just I don't think it's worth going anywhere this is what I'm giving away this is what I'm keeping although I have to say there's a lot of stuff that I'm keeping that's god sorry this is just, it's just so messy um, I can't you know what it will stay there there's nowhere else so there's there's um there's more makeup in here that I use and I use regularly that I love and I'll show you guys in a bit this is just my brushes um, but yeah, so this is what I'm keeping and oh and there's a couple of spares in there but yeah I'm really glad to be just like saying goodbye to this and you know the thing is it's not even that they're not great it's just I haven't reached out for a lot of these in a long time and I'm done oh my god I'm so happy it's all neat and tidy oh my heart okay so here are my dirty brushes that definitely need to be washed. Here are some semi-clean brushes. I've got, um, oh, let me just adjust that because it's quite bright. There we go, that's better. I've got jewelry in this section. So I've got my skincare, which I know I've mentioned in a video before. I've got some pieces here, including like this really nice MAC palette. Let me show you guys this. Which... I've used and loved quite a lot this year um, and then a couple other makeup items down there look at this I don't have a single lipstick here which makes me so happy because it makes me feel like I can get to fill this in or fill this up with products I actually love uh, and will be using in 2020 and then on this corner I've got a few of the lipsticks I do have there we go um, which aren't many and i'm so happy about i have to say though they're mostly red that's a nude this is dark red that's a dark purple that 
you, can, you guys can see it's interesting that I'm sticking to like these darker shades I've got the foundation I'm currently using which is almost over and I've got to get more foundation I actually was talking to a Kesha about this about um, because I wear makeup quite often because for the show I tend to I mean I just realized I don't have to have the best fanciest foundation for that um, which is why I'll have like CoverGirl or Maybelline things that aren't like um, more like luxury products when it comes to foundation uh, because I'll put it on and then later in the day I'll just take it off quite quickly but I do want to have some kind of luxurious products that I use whenever I just want to feel extra cute or extra pampered so I'm going to start piecing that together in 2020 um, but for now I do need to replenish that with maybe a MAC uh, not a MAC um, a Maybelline foundation um, what else is here? I've got some lip liners at the back, um, lip gloss, this is Pauline Cosmetics, mascara, which I need to get a new one. I've got an empty drawer here, which is insane. I've got, oops, there we go. I've got um, some makeup palettes, I've just, I showed you guys those ones, and just some other things here, like that's a blush that I also need to get a new one of. And this is, what is this? Oh God, I have to show you, have I shown you this? This is the prettiest MAC eyeshadow. It is so gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. And I know it looks odd, like what color will come out of that? You must wonder, let me just do a quick swatch for you guys. First of all, it's so cushiony in there, but can you see that? So that's it swatched on my hand. It is glorious. Um, this shade, oh look, it was so pretty, I spoiled it. Whatever, it's okay. And I've used this before, by the way. I know it doesn't look like I've used it, but I have several times, but I guess when I'm using a brush, it doesn't, um, it's not gonna leave those marks, but it did feel really nice and cushiony to touch. Um, and the shade is Spellbinder. I've shown you guys this before. This is Rising Star. God, can I do this? Yep. How beautiful is that too? Gorgeous. Here we go. And then there's these notebooks, which I love so much. This I got from, I think it used to be at Nakumar, but I'm sure you can still get it maybe at Carrefour. And it's just a book where I list down my goals and it's that time of year where I review them. And this is a new purchase. It's a weekly planner that I got from Miniso. The other day and I love I just love how pretty it is I'm gonna open this for you um, so I actually ended up getting two because one of them I wanted to um, put in the let me open this there we go and I wanted to put another one in the giveaway hamper which I hope you've been following this is essential because we've had loads of giveaways uh, the last week and a half um, but that's that's what it looks like Oops, there we go. I love, I love it. Um, and I'm trying to get into the habit of ticking things off. That's why even I've got that to-do list. Just so that I can make sure I'm always working on things. Okay, I'm coming at you because my little sister just did my makeup, you guys. Look at what she did with my eyes. Isn't that so pretty? Um, she did my eyebrows, she did the eyes, but then I was just telling her there are a couple of things that she forgot, like mascara, um, she also forgot to do um, concealer under the eyes, and I, I definitely have dark circles, so I've learned to appreciate concealer, um, but I think she's done a really good job, like this is a decent job compared to what I usually do, especially, ooh, especially, especially around my eyes. She used the MAC um i showed you guys the mac eyeshadow that just look at that it is stunning all right i'm gonna say goodbye now i i have a lot more clearing up to do but i'm happy with the progress that slowly by slowly this weekend has been a weekend of purging i even like ended up giving up giving back stuff that i needed to give back to people Makeup, the makeup that I cleared up, by the way, I've already given it to Wakesha. My sister took like three items and I had like two full bags of makeup. Um, but she only took like three, four items and the rest went to Wakesha. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to do a little bit more clearing 
do some editing and have a relaxed night. But I will see you guys tomorrow for a video that is probably not what you expect for Vlogmas, but I think it's a really nice way to end this year's Vlogmas. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the description box for all the links to the shop Zatu pieces that I talked about. Bye!